All right, hello everybody. This is Mr. Fleming um, here with another Algebra 1 lecture. So this one's pretty interesting. So let's get started. So today we're still talking about quadratics and we're talking about something called non-monic factoring. Well, let's start. So a quadratic is defined by ax squared plus bx plus c where a, b, and c are whole numbers. Monic just means that a is equal to one. So the factoring that we were practicing, you know, like with the x method, those are monic quadratics. Now, non-monic quadratics means that a is not equal to one. Just like in our first example, five x squared plus seven x plus two. You might be thinking, well, I can't do it like I normally do it, but there's a way to do it. All right, so we're still going to use the x, but in a slightly different way. So the x that we're going to use for this one is something like this. We're going to do a times c at the top, and then b stays at the bottom. Remember that um, the two numbers on the side have to multiply together to equal this number and add up to equal this number. Now, as a reminder, let's label our a, b, and c. So our here, our a is 5, our b is 7, and our c is 2, right? Okay, so let's plug it into our x. All right, so I'm going to do, what is that? 5 times 2, a times c. So I'm going to write 10 at the top, and then I'm going to write 7 at the bottom because b is 7. Okay. So, and then we can use the same um, method that we used previously. So for 10, oh, well, I know that the factors of 10 are, you know, one and 10 and two and five. Oh, okay, so two plus five equals seven. There you go. Okay, so, but in this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, create a box. I'm gonna show you how this works a little bit. So for this 2 and 5, we're going to rewrite that middle term as 2x and 5x. So watch this. We have 5x squared, well, plus 7x plus 2. And we're going to rewrite that 7x with 5x squared plus 2x plus 5x plus 2. See how that works? The, I divided the 7x into 2x and 5x. Together, they'll have 7x. So what we do now is we're going to make a little box. All right. So in my box, mm -hmm, I'm going to make a 2 by 2 box just like so. I'm going to put the first term here, 5x squared, and I'll put the second term right there, 2. And I'm going to make sure my numbers kind of match because you're going to see why in a second. So I see this 5x. I'm going to put it with the 5x squared. And then I'm going to put the 2x with the 2. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out. So when I factor out, what I'm going to be left with is I'm going to be left with well, they have like a 5x in common, right? So I'll write 5x on the side. And then when I factor something out of this, I'm going to be left with a, I think they have two in common, right? Okay. So I factored out them both. And then I'm going to write, okay, well, I know if I factor out the 5x of this, I'm going to be left with x. And then if I factor out a 5x of that, I'm just left with one. And so I'm going to use the things on the side to create my final answer. So it's going to be 5x plus 2 times x plus 1. Pretty cool. Because remember, remember our multiplying um, our multiplying polynomials boxes? So you can use that to do this. It's kind of cool. We're just kind of working backwards a little bit. All right. On to the next um, example. So we have 3x squared plus x minus 2. Again, so our first step is to make our x. And remember, um, we have our a is 3, our b is 1, remember, because there's nothing in front of that x, and then our c is negative 2. All right. So 
a times c, a times c, three times negative two, that's gonna be negative six. And then our b is just one. Okay, so then we think of the factors of six, I think one and six, three and two. Oh, well, I know that if I have a positive three and a negative two, that's gonna equal one. So I'll write positive three on this side and then negative two on this side. Okay, our next step is our box. So I go to the, the two by two box like this. Okay, and I'm gonna write the first term in the, this corner right here, three x squared. And I write the second, um, the, sorry, the last number in this box over here, minus two. Okay, and remember that I'm gonna put these in x terms. Okay, so I know this three is gonna go with the 3x squared, right? So I'm gonna write 3x here, and then I'm gonna write um, negative 2x there. Okay, so now I'm going to factor out the greatest common factor for both of these. All right, so I noticed that these guys have a 3x in common, and I noticed that these guys have a negative two in common. Okay, when that leaves at the top, well, you know, 3x squared divided by 3x, that's just going to be x, and 3x divided by 3x is 1. So here we have 3x minus 2, and then x plus 1. Not too bad. So we have two more examples because, you know, this is a little bit tricky and there's a lot of steps to it. But remember, make, label, make your x, label your a, b, and c, a times c, b, and then figure it out from there. All right, two more examples coming at us. All right, next one ha we have is 3x squared minus 8x plus 4. So again, I do my x. Remember, just a quick review, a times c at the top, b at the bottom. A, we're looking for what multiplies to this, and we're looking at what adds up to b. All right, so our a, b, and c, our a here is three, right? Our b is gonna be negative eight, and then our c is four. All right, so I'll go ahead and make my x again. A times c, I see is three times four is 12, and then our b is gonna be negative eight. Beautiful. Okay, so then I, I'm gonna list my little factors of 12, one and 12, three and four, two and six. Oh, well, I see this two and six could work if, if it was negative two and negative six. So I'll go ahead and do that, negative six and negative two. All right, beautiful. So then I'm gonna go ahead and make my two by two box, like so. And I'm gonna put the top term up there, 3x squared. And then I'm gonna put the bottom, the C term on the bottom right corner, four, okay. And so I have a six and a two. Well, the six is gonna go with the three, right? Because six and three, they can be friends. So I'm gonna do negative six x, and then I'm gonna do the negative two with the four, so negative two x. Notice how negative six x plus negative two x equals negative 8x. So we're doing something right here. Okay, so then our next step is just to factor out the GCF. So I noticed that these, these two share a 3 and they share an x. So I'm just going to write 3x there. And I noticed that these two share a 2. So and but nothing else. But the trick here is I'm going to do a negative 2 and you'll see why. All right. So then at the top, I notice that, okay, I just multiply by x here, right? And then for this one, I'm going to multiply by negative 2. So here's the trick. You have to make sure that the box works out perfectly. All right, so here we have 3x minus 2 and then x minus 2. Beautiful. So just be careful when you have that negative there. Make sure, you're, make sure the box works out nicely. Okay, last one, and last one's a little bit tricky. So when you look at this one, you're seeing some big numbers, but I start here, GCF. In this case, we mean that you should factor out the GCF before you do anything. So I notice, and this one actually is not related to non-monics, but I thought I would just include it anyway. So it, it's non-monic, 
because it has a 9 as an A. So it initially it looks like it's going to be a little bit difficult. But I noticed that, oh, 9 goes into 27 and 9 goes into 18. So I can factor out a 9. And 9 divided by 9x squared is just x squared. And then 27 divided by 9, that's just 3, so plus 3x. And then 18 divided by 9 is plus 2. Hey, this looks monic, if you will. This one's easy to factor because I can just do the x method, right? Put the c on the top, which is 2, and then 3 on the bottom. Look at that. And then I know that, oh, okay, so that's clearly, um, you know, 2 and 1. So you have 9x plus 2, x plus 1. All right, so when you're doing these non-monics, you, you should check that there is no GCF, but that's excellent work. Um, hope everyone's doing well, and have a great week.